My cousin Francois had run the, the house for 25 odd years and uh, when he turned 70 he decided that it was the right time to look into the seventh generation to take over. That's a natural process for us, you know, we're one of the very last few family run and for the situation to continue you need to pass on the baton every generation. So it was a perfectly natural thing to happen like it's happened six times before, we just made it happen the seventh time. We have been changing quite a lot of things, you know, have banned all weed killers, we don't use fertilizers. Uh, we have a raft of different certification, Viticulture du Havre Champagne is one of them. I've also converted parts of the vineyard in organic. Fundamentally, what I try and find, aside from the, the badges that sound good, is find a method of viticulture which is suited to individual parcels in a sustainable way. For me, it's finding the right solution aside from what sounds good and what's trendy. Because I think when you have a 200 year history, sometimes you find that what was trendy is considered to be a very bad thing 10 or 30 years later. We select what parcel is going to go either in the small cask room or the big cask room because the oak to liquid ratios are very different and therefore what you're seeking in terms of style are quite different. So fundamentally how the harvest, the team goes around each parcel and say okay we think that particular Pinot Noir parcel in Ambonnet or in Verzonnet has uh, enough characteristic to be able to deal and be magnified by the idea of a, a barrel fermented vinification. If it's not, that doesn't mean it's any weaker or different. If you are seeking a leaner, purer style, stainless steel is better suited. In terms of what is a blend with how much oak we included in it, everything at Bilka is, is guided by blind tasting. We have about 250 samples and that's what guides us in what is going to be the very best blend. So sometimes you can have a Nicolas Francois who has 30-35% of barrel vinified wines and sometimes it's 5%. So it really depends on the characteristic of the year. Ultimately, what we seek to achieve is having wines that are true to the DNA of the house. And the DNA of the house is finesse, elegance and balance. The hardest thing to achieve in all of this is the balance. I want something where when I smell it, I taste it from the front palate to the mid palate to the back palate to the last sip and a minute later, I want the thing. I want the wine we've made to make sense. The classification between Grand Cru, Premier Cru, for me is no more than a useful guide because Champagne is a much more complicated appellation that in many ways Burgundy can be. If you trust the producers that you like, the style of wine, you're going to be probably less disappointed than if you say, well, I like this village, therefore I'm going there. The factor which is sometimes underestimated is the aging aging on lease. This particular bottle, I do exactly the same thing. I age it three years, I put it on the market. It's going to be one type of wine. I age it 10 years, I put it on the market. It's a fundamentally different kind of wine. We only produce Nicolas Francois in year we consider to be the very best. However, there are certain years that people remember more. And we're always confident when we bottle the Nicolas Francois, only when we release them, that they have a life expectancy of 10, 15, 20, 25 years. That's the benefits of our cold fermentation. It gives the wine that acidic backbone that guarantees or gives that freshness for longer. If you add that to an 08, an 08 being a year that naturally is born with that freshness and that acidity sort of embedded into it, then you go further. From birth, 98 and 2008 are quite different years. I think the benefit of showing this 98 is it shows what a Nicolas Francois can give you 10 years later and therefore which gives a more fuller expression of what that blend is capable of giving you. The 98 today I think is in a great window. Not that it's in any way for people that want to keep it, they can keep it. But I think it's just what you're going to get in your glass is going to be great.